very warm welcome to all our friends from Pakistan and who come across the border for this uh, very special occasion. Um, I have written a very small piece to pay, pay homage to the magnificent, magnificent that uh, Madhya was and uh, it's going to be my humble attempt to do that. Um, many know her as an artist, an activist and a pipeline feminist. She is celebrated as a director and a trailblazer in the field of the arts all over the world. Her bravery and courage are often spoken about. That is Madhya Gohan. A renowned intellectual and activist who made an everlasting impact in the social political landscape of our nation. But I know her as Amiliki, the most passionate, bold, and stoic Amiliki, whose presence filled up each and every room that she walked into. She was boundless, boundless in her capacity to love and to give, boundless in her ability to protect and to truly fight or fight for what she believed in. Boundless in her passion and commitment to the world of the arts, the world that she dedicated her entire life to. It is impossible to put into words the impact she had on our lives. Her unrelented devotion to her cause and her might in preserving against all the challenges that were often thrown her way, carved a path for the next generation. To never think the easy way out was truly an option. To follow one's heart, one's calling, was the only way to exist. There is still so much to learn from her and to take forward with me. But outside of all her successes and accomplishments, the one thing I wish I could take forward with me is the way she took care of everyone that was connected to her. She never missed a birthday, never an anniversary. She was always the first one to show up at our door with a present in hand. Think for me and turquoise for my sister Neha, always. I see this in my elder sister now and I don't have to wonder where she gets it from. Till the very end, she took, took care of elders who had been a part of her life, be it elderly in the family or senior actors affiliated to a joker. It was through the weekly phone call, the periodic visit, or a planned trip to a foreign country to make sure they were doing okay. She also took care of the pets in her life, like her very own. Even in the last phase of her illness, I remember she would make the trip down the staircase from her bedroom to make sure Fluffy, the dog that was adopted by her sons, were taken care of and was being fed properly. I saw her dance in joy and rejoice in the happiness of others, but also cry at the pain of others like her very own. I wish my daughter could have met her and learned how to fall in love with life the way Amiliki did. There was so much she would have taught her, so much she would have celebrated with her, so many heartaches she would have shared with her, so many important life lessons that she would have passed on to her. But she will meet her. She will meet her through me, my sister, my parents, Amiguli and Amushahid, but most of all, through her uncles, Nirvan and Saru. And one day, she would proudly tell her friends that she is the grandniece of one of the bravest women in Pakistan, her mama's Amiliki. Thank you very much.